Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to my YouTube channel. As you can see, this is a VEAT project. I just created a VEAT application, a VEAT app with Vue.js, and I am planning to use Element Plus, what, sorry, Element Plus, I'm planning to create a date range picker with Element Plus UI. And Element Plus UI is a library that is created in China but it's specifically for uh, Vue.js and Vue.js. I don't know if other JavaScript developers can also use Element Plus. I think they can, but it is designed for Vue.js and they have amazing date uh, range pickers. Uh, for example, this one, and then there's this one. So um, let, me, let me see this one. Let's, let's make this one with Vue.js in Vite. This is Vite plus Vue application. Okay, first of all, let me start the terminal. I'm gonna use Linux. Okay, I'm gonna put node version 14, okay? npm run dev to start a Vite application. Oh, what happened? I think I have to install it. NPM install. I have to install, oh uh, yes, I have to install a V plus view application before starting. NPM run dev. Okay, let's see what it looks like. But this is what, what, what my application looks like right now. So instead, let me remove all the redundant stuff to start working. Okay, let me remove this. And this, this, okay, so it's good. Now it will probably look like this, it's empty. So uh, first of all, we have to install Element Plus in our application. As you can see in package.json, we don't have it. We have view in here and that's it. So let's install it. Uh, let's install it. Let me go to guide and then installation. This. And uh, let me. Okay, let me see what happens. It's installing. Install.css. We don't need this. We don't need any of this. Constant app equals to create. And then uh, call it app.mount. And here, I want to make element plus global so that we don't need to manually put element plus, see, we need, we don't need to manually import element plus everywhere in our application and separate components. Just want to make it global. So in order to make it global, I'm going to import it and use it in our main.js file. Okay, so let me import this and then app.use element plus okay oh wait spelling okay this is good still running and uh, let's see if we can start building so i was thinking i'm going to create a separate date component for this i'm going to call it date component dot view okay and in here Let's take all the codes from here in view. Uh, where is it? Date component, date time picker. The one that I liked was this one. So let me let me copy all the codes for this. And let me paste it over here. And then also the script, 
copy, paste, and also we, we don't have a value one in here, okay? Value two is for the second one. Value two is for the second data element. Value one is for the first state, state picker. We're not working with the first one in here. Okay, so let, uh, let's import this in our first, okay, first of all, let me make this a regular view, okay. Instead of composition API, let's use uh, options. Okay, import date component from components date component dot view. And in here, you can have a components file, components section. component. Let's see what it looks like right now. Okay, let's see what it looks like. All right, see, it's really easy. This is so easy. Okay, so um, right now, this is how you put a date component. This is how you insert a date component. And it even has all the timing. It's uh, very fancy looking. And let me see custom range. This is so easy to do. That's why I really love Element Plus. As a Vue.js developer, this is amazing. And we can, we can do more stuff with it. Let me see clear. We can do a lot more stuff with it. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm going to continue with this. I'm going to make a better, in my next video, I'm going to put more things to this uh, view date component. I'm going to use, I'm going to use all the other date components and I'm going to, we're going to experiment. So I hope you enjoyed my video and please subscribe. Thank you.